Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to use partially applied function in Scala. So first of all, what are partially applied functions? But before understanding partially applied functions, we need to understand uh, how function works. So when you invoke a function, for example, uh, this uh, anonymous function, which have three arguments and it gives us the addition of all three uh, numbers or integers, you are said to be applying the function to the arguments. Okay, so these are the arguments, three arguments, and you are said to be applying that function. So this code to these three arguments. And when you use this function like this, so you use the name of the function and uh, then pass all three arguments, this kind of uh, functions are called fully applied function. That means you have applied all the arguments to the function. So this is called fully applied function. Now what is a partially applied function? So in the same example, for example, you just provide few arguments. Let's say you provide just two arguments and third, you keep it as a default or a wildcard, some kind of a wildcard then it's called a partially applied function. So let's see how we can use partially applied functions in Scala. So this is the normal usage of this uh, sum function. You just declare uh, this function, sum function, and then you call this function with all three arguments, right? Now what I do in between here is I will declare one more function. And let's say this function name is f and then I just call this sum function and then I just uh, pass for example 10 as a first argument and then 20 as a second argument and the third argument I am going to keep it as a wildcard. In the last video we have seen that we can use underscore as a wildcard, right? So just write underscore and then colon and then data type of that uh, argument, okay? So what we have done is we have fixed first two arguments here and the third argument we said that we will uh, just pass it whenever we call this f function. Okay. So now what we can do here is we can call f function instead of sum and because we have already passed first two arguments in the sum function when you just pass 30 uh, in the f function then it will be applied to this wildcard, okay? So let's uh, save the code and run it and let's see what's the result of this function and you can see the result is 60. So first two arguments here are fixed and the third argument we are considering it as a wildcard. So this whatever number we will pass here, for example, I pass 100 here, it will be applied to this sum function and then it will show the result. In a similar way, if you want to just uh, apply one argument and uh, pass two arguments as wildcard, you can just uh, write underscore colon and then int for the second argument also. And then you can just pass two argument for the f function. So 100 and let's say 200, we pass two arguments here and then run the program and it gives us 310, which is the sum of this, this and this. And this is called partially applied function. Now, this was a very simple example. Now, let's say in a real world example, uh, you want to log something. So let's define one another function here above the main method. So I'm going to define uh, def log. And what we want to do here is we want to log something now, right? So log function generally we use to log some uh, messages in some situations. So for example, if your code throws some error, we want to log something and we want to know at which time this log is created, right? Or if you want to uh, show some information, to the user of the code, then we use log or in the case of warnings or uh, some critical condition is happening in your code, then you can uh, use a log function, right? So what 
are the argument we want to pass in the log function. So the first argument we want to pass is the date. So we want to print the date and time at which this log is created. And the second argument will, will be the message itself. Now to use date, we need to import the date library. So just write uh, import java.util.date. Okay, this is going to import the date library. And here the data type of date will be date. And the second argument here will be a message, let's say. And the data type of message will be the string. And what it does, it just prints this log message okay so what we want to write here is uh, print ln and then we want to just first of all print the date first of all and then plus and let's give uh, some space between date and message and then plus message okay so what it does is this log function just print the date first of all and then prints the message. So now let's create a partial function out of this log function, okay? So what we want to uh, pass into this log function, first of all, we want to pass the date. So we can just define uh, date first of all, and then we will write new date, which is going to give us the date. And then we will uh, just define a new uh, variable let's say the new variable name is val new log okay so new log is our new uh, function let's say and then we are going to apply a log function here so log and then uh, we will apply date here first of all and the second argument will be partially applied so underscore colon string okay so what we have done we have created a new function new log and then we have uh, just assigned this log to this new log and we have already uh, applied one argument to the log function but the second argument is the wild card here okay so now what we can do here is we can call new log and then we can just give our message for example so let's say message one let's say okay and then let's run the code and it's going to print first of all the date and time and then our message now we can call this new log message multiple times like this and uh, let's say message 2 here message uh, 3 here and message 4 and then when we just run the code it's going to just print the date first of all and then it's going to print our message right now the date is uh, looking same because there is no delay between these messages but in real world situations for example this message will be logged uh, at for example 22 24 15 second and for example uh, the other message can be logged at 16 second and 17 second and 18 seconds so in real life situations this date is really beneficial to know at what time this message is logged okay so this is how we can use partially applied functions in scala i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now